Hi, I'm Nicole Ellis. I'm a certified professional dog trainer. I've worked with everything from lions and tigers to household cats and dogs. And this is Rossi and Maggie. I often get asked, what if my dog doesn't like treats? I know, some of us that seems so crazy too, but it's true, some dogs are not treat motivated. And that's okay. Yes, you can train a dog without treats. One of these pups is treat motivated and the other is not. However, both love to train and learn. With these short trips, I'm gonna teach you how to train a dog without food, using positive reinforcement. So of course, it's gonna be fun for them. While this is aimed at dogs who aren't food motivated or are overly food excitable, treat-free training can be a good change of routine, even for the easiest food motivated dogs. You might find your dog enjoys earning different types of rewards, and that will lead to new things you can work on together. The first step is understanding if you have a pup that isn't food motivated, or if she or he is simply full and not interested in eating at the moment. I often train Maggie with her dinner. This is a nice way of keeping Maggie lean and fit without getting additional meals or treats that are high in calories. Before dinner, when your pet is anxious for their food, try training with a few pieces of dinner and see if their motivation level spikes a bit. If so, that's great. You can work on your training with their dinner time meal. To make sure that your dog really, really isn't food motivated, make one last effort, this time with a higher value food. If I had the choice between bacon and a cracker, I'm gonna hold out for the bacon. You probably would too. If you are using a dry, hard treat, try one with more scent and flavor. Perhaps a venison or beef flavored treat with soft texture and a stronger odor. Or a piece of chicken or some of your steak or cheese in small pieces. Still not interested in food? That's okay. Think of your pet's toys and arrange them in order of excitement for them. For example, a tennis ball is a good time, but their tug toy is off the wall excitement, but their really squeaky, annoying taco tops them all. We can make a list of the joy level of each of these toys from low to highest. Tennis ball, tug toy, taco toy, and a new toy that only comes out at training time. We know the tennis ball is lowest on this particular joy list. So get out the next item on the list, the tug toy, hide it behind you, and start with the beginning steps of a sit or stay. But instead of rewarding with food, reward your dog with that tug toy and let your pet play for a minute or two. If the toy isn't deemed a sufficient, exciting reward, step it up the next level with the squeaky taco. If your dog doesn't spark to his normal toys as a reward, consider finding him a special toy that becomes a training only toy. This might be a squeaky toy or a moving toy like a Frisbee. And you can help make it more exciting by making noise with the toy and moving it around just before you give your dog a drop it command. He gets to play with the toy only as a reward for training and it's hidden away except at training times. For the very tennis ball motivated dog, you know what's better than one tennis ball? Two, especially if they don't have their other paws on that other ball yet. Hide one ball in your pocket or behind your back and surprise your pup by rewarding with it. Repeat this for endless doggy joy. We hope these tips help you and your pup begin your training adventure together.